made to go forward for Daryl Holland. Seven to two, Crimpleen outright favourite now. Zakia four, six is Princess Allen, seven's Bar. They're ready. Set and racing. Jumped as one, two decision made, and Cezanne got away pretty well down near the inside on the left of the picture. Crimpleen away smartly in the centre as well. So too is Amethyst up there on the in the dark uh, blue jacket. Blue Mamba just dropping in behind them from Princess Ellen. Ifteras is right there in the centre. They're followed by Zakia and Total Love settling at the rear of the field. Crimpleen, the dual guineas winner in uh, Germany and Ireland, goes on here by two lengths. To in second, Amethyst, who's up on the outside as they continue their journey uphill towards the entrance to the home straight. Cezanne is just behind them, followed by Blue Mamba. Two lengths away is Princess Allen. A gap then to Zakia, followed by Ifteras us and well back in the field decision made is second last and on the outside and uh, going into second last position now is total love but the leader here is Crimpleen as they head up towards the home turn by a length and a half to Amethyst in second, Blue Mamba in the centre. Cezanne is just behind them in third on the inside. There, two lengths in front of Princess Allen. A gap to Zakia picking up now from Ifteras. Further back then is Total Love. And decision made as last of all as they turn the corner now in the Coronation Stakes. And it's Crimpleen out in front by two lengths to Cezanne. They're followed by Blue Mamba, the French Guineas winner. Getting into the clear now, followed by Princess Allen who's under, under the whip. Zakia launched down the centre of the course, but inside the two, they haven't got to Crimpleen. She's gone three or four in front of Blue Mamba. Then Princess Allen is trying hard to pick her up now. The only possible danger inside the furlong, though, though there's no danger. It's Crimpleen about three or four in front and safely holding them at bay. Uh, what a performance here by Crimpleen, who goes on to win the Coronation Stakes by three lengths. Princess Allen game in second, a gap to Blue Mamba third, followed then by Zakia. They're followed next by Total Love, further back Gifta Rust. Next in the field is Decision Made, season second last and Amethyst last to finish. Let's see them as they cross the line. Number three, Crimpleen, owned by Sheikh Marwan Al Maktoum, trained by Clive Britton, ridden by Philip Robinson, has won by about three lengths from Princess Allen, then a gap of five lengths or so to Blue Mamba. Behind them, Zakia in fourth position. They're pretty well strung out. This has been a very good performance by the winner. Total love in uh, behind them, then Ifteras, decision made, who was at the rear of the field, could never get into it at all. Another four lengths or so to season was a disappointing run, and Amethyst was the last to finish. Let's check the one, two, three. Number three, Crimpleen is the winner, ridden by Philip Robinson. Second is number six, Princess Allen, owned by Mrs. S. Thomas, trained by Jared Butler, ridden by Kevin Darley. And third, number two, Blue Mamba, the French Guineas winner. Uh, owned by uh, Akiri Sky, Skymark Farm, trained by Pascal Barry and ridden by Olivier Pallier. Fourth, Zakia. And the distances, two and a half lengths and four lengths. The four to one joint favourite, Grimpleen, the winner of the Coronation Stakes. And a really positive ride from Philip Robinson. He's bounced this filly out of the stalls. He's made virtually all the running and of the strong driving. She's quick and clear in the straight. Only Princess Ellen coming from the back to give her anything like a threat in the closing stages. The one thing about this filly, she's got an abundant stamina over the mile. Two guineas to her credit already this year, the German and Irish, and now she's added the Group 1 coronation stakes to that super record. And what credit must go to, in fact, Clive Britton, who trained this filly, has kept her really on the boil. She looks super in the paddock, all bright and shining, and she's really running to the yard line there. Philip Robinson took no chance. Those two a long, long way clear of the rest. Here's Philip Robinson, he's just driving hard, but he knows that he's got this race won. What a tough filly beautifully handled by Clive Britton. He's kept her fresh. She's had a lot of racing this season, but her enthusiasm is marvellous. Just look at the way she sticks her neck forward there to go and win. She's out of a mare called Crimson Conquest, who's by Diocese, and what a star he's proved the brood mares. Just look at her there. She's really half having to do nothing in the closing stages for her. Absolutely admirable. A lovely filly and a great credit to all her connections. Well, Clive Britton, her uh, trainer, also she thinks she should have won the Italian guineas because uh, she was third there, but uh, he was very upset the way the stores handlers managed her before the race, trying to get her in. Philip Robinson coming back here. He's uh, known success in this uh, race before with Katie's in 1984. But uh, have a look at a very good filly, a winner 
of two guineas in Germany and in Ireland. And now the coronation stakes at Royal Ascot. Magnificent record. And she's also been to Dubai as well as Italy, as Germany, Ireland, racing here as well. And, the, uh, and in Ireland. Great performance. She's by Lion Cavern. She's out of Crimson Conquest by Diocese. She'll make a very valuable brood mare. And Philip Robinson, who's enjoying an outstanding career, career and also an outstanding season. Let's check the SPs now on the Coronation Stakes. If you're watching at home, that's a tremendous SP for you because uh, that's the biggest price it's been. It was 7 to 2 in the offices this morning. Uh, first number three, Crimpoline, 4 to 1 joint favourite.